Looking to improve your fitness business while keeping your bottom line in good shape? Let the gym administrator help you achieve those goals. With their powerful team of fitness industry professionals at the ready, the gym administrator covers a wide range of industry-related products and services that will help you build your business and increase profits. The gym administrator works with reliable industry suppliers and vendors that place a heavy emphasis on service, just the way you remember it. Give them a call at 914-494-1066 or visit them on the web at thegymadministrator.com as well as all social media platforms. The Gym Administrator, all your fitness needs under one roof. Scan the barcode at the bottom of the screen to get started today. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude, good fucking wine. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Becky Lynch's contract is reportedly expires on June 1st. That happens to be my birthday. I try not to announce that. Um, following her loss at the, to the Women's World Champion Liv Morgan in a steel cage match on Monday night's episode of Raw, Becky Lynch is reportedly set to become a free agent. How <laughs> her becoming a free agent? Yeah. How does that affect the WWE? And let's not say she goes anywhere yet. She just leaves. She leaves wrestling to go watch her child. She's made plenty of money. She's going to tour around mm -hmm. with her book. How does Becky Lynch leaving the WWE affect WWE? Uh, the women's division is fantastic, Mike. I mean, when did you think I would ever so comfortably just throw that out there? But, you know, the women have obviously earned their place in pro wrestling. And a lot of that goes back to when it all started with evolution. Uh, to me, it was a slower crawl for me than it might have been for others. But they won't they won't miss a beat. I mean, they have great stars coming up. They have a great division. Uh, Becky, I don't think is going to go anywhere. I think she's going to take time for her family. And I don't think she's going to go anywhere else. You know, when she resigns, she'll resign in a year or two if she feels the vibe and wants to come back. She's still young enough where she'll have enough of an impact when she does return. She could do this for the next 10 years. I could see Becky Lynch being a big deal. And look at what Trish Stratus did. How long has Trish Stratus been out of wrestling until in the recent years we've had her back from time to time? And how great is she? I think Becky's going to age well is what I'm getting at. Physically. Where where does Becky rank in the all-time greatest women pro wrestlers? Becky has become the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin of women. All right? Uh, I don't, I, I, and stop me if you uh, disagree with anything I'm saying, because I am curious to hear what you think about Becky's impact on this business. But Becky is the biggest star, period. Period. She's probably sold the most merchandise in the history of women in the business, I would think. You know? Uh She's she's at the top of the penthouse, you know, whether you're a fan of Becky Lynch or not, you can't deny what she's meant for pro wrestling. Come on. She's the man. She's the man. I mean, the man. Yeah, pretty much. Jimmy, hard, hard to argue with you. Um, I think about Charlotte Flair when I think about the greatest. But right. if I think about bigger stars, I'm going to have to agree with you. Becky Lynch is a bigger star. She is. Than Charlotte she is. Charlotte Flair. Charlotte is the greatest. Charlotte is the greatest total package ever, and I believe if you know you you made me give a my my version of the top ten women in the history of the business. Charlotte's going to stay at the top for me. That's not going to change. But when you asked me what the impact was, and the impact is is for now the most successful monetarily and business and merchandise and everything else woman in the history of the WWE is going away for a little bit. She'll be back. I'm not worried about it at all. The women's division is great. Well, give me more. Give me more tips. Th there are reports that Tony Khan is willing to make her the m highest paid woman wrestler in the history of professional wrestling. Let's, oh, that's nice. Well, but let's just say, supposedly this has happened and Lynch takes the contract. Does that now, especially with the addition of uh, Monet, uh, it's hard for right. me to even call her that. Um, right. Does that make it the more, does AEW become a more powerful women's division? Uh, it become it becomes what it always is. It takes big stars from other places, and then it it fucks up the booking. Uh, I don't I don't see it working over there. All people also forget that the presentation you're seeing on a WWE program 
is a WWE presentation. I think by now it's safe to say that they know how to do intros. They know how to find the right music way more than not. All right. You're not going to get, you're going to tell me Mercedes Monet intro and presentation on AW and in ring, how it looks, the lighting, the cameras. You're going to tell me that that looks like what it looked like back in her days as Sasha Banks and WWE with all those classic no. matches. No, it's Hell not. no. But, Hell but no. But there comes a point where if you have enough talent, you could start changing that, I'm assuming. Here's a quick question for you, because I was thinking about this too, right? We're friends. We're competitors. We like to compete, right? We competed when we were younger, when we could do it athletically. Obviously, we can't do it athletically anymore, um, or at least at right. a level that we're used to. Um, right. Right, okay. to be fair. But, um, yeah. but, you know, Jimmy and I compete still to this day. We compete with others, compete with each other, right? We're always challenging each other. There's nothing wrong with that. But here's a question for you. So Mercedes Monet goes on and does, you know, the press conference. And she says, you know, AEW's the place where it's to be. That's great. You, you're carrying a banner. That's all well and good. But then she makes a statement that she's the greatest wrestler of all time. This is what I was thinking, and I need your opinion on this. Everybody knows she's very close with Bailey, right? Very close friends. Um, I don't know her relationship with other wrestlers, but just using Bailey for the example. When a wrestler says something like that, does the other wrestler's creative juices start going and said, you know what? I'm going to start being a, stop being a cheerleader for you now because now you're claiming to be the greatest. And, you know, when this is all said and done, we'll still be friends, but I want to be the greatest. Do you think that goes through like a Bailey's mind? That's a good question. Um, I would like to think that since the curtain got torn open 30 years ago, when they do this sort of stuff, I, I would tend to think that they don't think anything of it. Ah, she's just working. She's just working. That's what she's doing. She's working. She's working herself. She's working her character. She's working. But but I you think know? when you make that statement, there's something in your mind or in your heart that you truly believe this, right? You're just not saying it to say it. And when you do, right. there, you know, you're thinking to yourself, hey, look, this is my career too. And, you know, I don't want to be second best. Huh. I don't know. I don't know how Bailey would take that. I don't know. You know, what do you what do you think Bailey would do if she did feel that way? Would she get on a mic and address what Monet said? I don't think now she addresses pre- her, but maybe she stops showing up at AEW events, hugging her and saying congratulations. Maybe it's like well, I, maybe I need to focus on myself a little bit. I hated that personally. Uh, you know, I'm already on record that I hated that when they did that. You know, everybody thought that was great. Oh, why can't we all be friends? Yeah, right. We can't all be friends, okay? It's competition. And if I was the owners of WWE, I would have been pissed off. 